डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड माई टीचर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू टू द प्रेजेंटेशन लेक्चर ऑन कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ द रेस्पायरेटरी सिस्टम ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ वी शुड प्रोनाउंस दिस सिस्टम सो मैनी अ टाइम्स वी प्रोनाउंस दिस एज रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम बट एक्चुअली वी शुड प्रोनाउंस दिस एज रेस्पायरेटरी सिस्टम सो दिस वन इज द रेस्पायरेटरी सिस्टम ना इन दिस डिस्कशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द ऑर्गन्स विच आर प्रजेंट इन द रेस्पायरेटरी सिस्टम वॉट द रेस्पायरेटरी सिस्टम इज मेड अप ऑफ कंसिस्ट ऑफ सो इन द रेस्पायरेटरी सिस्टम देर प्रजेंट द नोज देन दैरिंग्स also known as throat larynx that is the voice box trachea that is windpipe bronchi and the lungs so these are the organs which are included in the respiratory system so in the figure i am showing you all these organs so here in this figure these are the nares okay so from here we know there are two nostril and from here the atmospheric air which is having oxygen enters into our nasal cavity then this air passes into the pharynx pharynx then after the pharynx the air enters into the larynx so here you see this part this portion is the larynx now larynx also known as the voice box then after larynx air enters into the trachea then the branch of the trachea they enter into the lung so here the right lung and this one is the left lung are shown so i am showing you the entire figure so <coughs> you read all the names and try to remember the names okay <coughs> then this this figure okay nose lung trachea now the second point of our discussion now the parts of the respiratory system they can be divided they can be classified according to their structure or the function so which are the structure of the respiratory system and what are the function of this structure so structurally the respiratory system consists of two part one part is the upper respiratory system and in this upper respiratory system uh, nose nasal cavity pharynx and associated structures are included so in the upper respiratory system nose nasal cavity pharynx and associated structures are included so here in this figure this is the upper this one is the upper respiratory tract and you, as you can see here this one is our nose this is the nose then inside this is the nasal cavity then <coughs> the pharynx so all this component all this component together they make the upper respiratory tract 
so this was the third point now moving on the fourth point of our discussion the lower respiratory system so the lower respiratory system in that larynx this one this one is the larynx then trachea so this one this one is the trachea or the windpipe then the bronchi the branch branch of the trachea that enters into the lungs so all this organ once again larynx trachea bronchi and lungs these organs are included in the lower respiratory system so i am showing you <coughs> this figure the title of this figure anatomy of the respiratory system okay so you go through this figure and try to remember all the parts all the names okay moving on the fifth point now uh, functionally the respiratory system consists of two part one is conducting zone and this conducting zone consists of series of interconnecting cavities and tubes both outside and within the lungs so conducting zone conduct in the conducting zone the tubes are there and the cavity of the tubes they are connected with each other and this tube they are present outside the lung and this tube they are also entering into the lung so which are this tubes and which are their cavities so see once again this figure for example this is our nose so this one is the nasal cavity so cavity of our nose that is nasal cavity okay nasal cavity is connected with the cavity of pharynx okay cavity of pharynx joins with the cavity of larynx okay and cavity of larynx joined with the trachea and then the branch of the trachea the bronchi and the bronchiole so all these structures even though they are in the tube form so inside there is a cavity is present and their cavities are interconnected so that is the meaning of this fifth point that is the <coughs> conducting zone okay so once again the conducting zone of respiratory system is made up of respiratory tubes and the cavity of these tubes they are connected with each other these tubes are present outside the lung and also these tubes are they are entering into the lungs so this is the meaning of this fifth point now which are the tubes and what they are talking about so that we are going to learn now so here the tubes that i have explained that the cavity cavity of our nose okay that is the nasal cavity then the cavity of pharynx cavity of larynx trachea bronchi and bronchiole all this all this air passage all these cavities all these tubes they are connected to each other they merge with each other they join with each other okay and finally there is a terminal bronchiole and one more bronchiole is there that i will show you okay so that is the respiratory bronchiole now what is the function of this tubes so atmospheric air which is having oxygen pass through nose then the nasal cavity then the pharynx then the larynx then the trachea then the bronchi bronchiole terminal bronchiole 
respiratory bronchial and the alveoli of the lung so during this journey the air is filter okay air is filter means air is clean any dust particle <coughs> if present in air so they are not allowed to enter because the mucus is secreted and the microvilli is <coughs> So they are not permitting this dust particle to enter to reach to the lung then this all this tubes and their cavity they are warming the atmospheric air and also they moisten the air and finally this all this organ all this tube all the structure they pass they conduct the atmospheric air into the lungs so this is this is how the atmospheric oxygen reach to the lung via these tubes now the seventh point in the seventh point now we are discussing <coughs> the respiratory zone now this respiratory zone consists of tubes and tissues within the lungs where gas exchange and here in the respiratory zone the gas that we are talking about is the oxygen and CO2 so in the respiratory zone the exchange of gases exchange of oxygen and CO2 is taking place now which are the structures of the respiratory zone so in the respiratory zone respiratory bronchioles are present alveolar duct alveolar sacs are present alveoli are present okay and this alveoli and on the surface of alveoli the blood capillaries are present so this is the main site the alveoli and the capillary is the main site for exchange of gases that is the oxygen and co2 so we now in the figure i will i am showing you the entire setup of the respiratory zone this is one figure first let's understand all the names okay now for this this bronchiole we need to understand <coughs> all the tubes of the respiratory system so here you see here you see this one this one is the trachea this is the trachea then this one and this one this one this one so trachea is divided into two tubes and this two tubes are known as left and right bronchi so here with this figure you will understand see over here this one this one is the trachea and trachea is divided into two branch left and right so these branches are known as the bronchi left bronchi and right bronchi then then the bronchi is further divided into smaller tubes so the branch which arise from the main bronchi smaller branch they are known as the lower or the segmental bronchi then this lower and segmental bronchi they are further divided into smaller tubes so these smaller tubes are known as the bronchioles and the terminal bronchiole and finally from the terminal bronchial so up to up to here you see this entire all these tubes trachea bronchi then the lower and segmental bronchi and bronchioles and terminal bronchial all these tubes they are forming they are forming the conducting zone okay and now what is happening we are over here at the point of bronchial and terminal bronchial 
so from the terminal bronchiole there arise a small branches and this small branches of terminal bronchiole they are known as the respiratory bronchiole now this one let's say this one is the respiratory bronchiole okay so from respiratory bronchiole this 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 and this these are the these are the alveolar duct and this alveolar duct they are entering into the alveolar sac okay so this is how this is how the atmospheric oxygen travels through all this all this all these tubes and finally the air reach into the alveolar sac and the alveolar sacs are made up of the alveoli so one more figure i would try to show you over here you see i am zooming this so that you can see it properly this figure here on left hand side the long pipe that you are looking at is the trachea and here you see trachea is divided into two branch left and right so these are the right and left main bronchi then the branch of bronchi so then it is bronchus and here here all this branch for example the lingua bronca superior division bronchus okay and the numberings are given b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 so all these branches they are intra pulmonary that means these branches these branches are present inside the lung and these branches <laughs> they are also present in the right lung and in between in between you see right and left main bronchi so they are extra pulmonary extra pulmonary means they are present outside the lung okay so now we are moving back to that figure so this figure i will i was showing to you so here you see first you see bronchiole so this is the lung is shown and in the lung this one is the bronchiole now now the branch which arise from bronchiole that branch is known as terminal bronchiole then from the terminal bronchiole the branch arise that is known as respiratory bronchiole so here respiratory bronchiole then from respiratory bronchiole the branch arise that is known as alveolar duct and you can see the alveolar duct is opening into the alveolar sac so here you see the alveolar sac is shown now what what exactly this alveolar sac is so so here you see <laughs> the alveoli are shown and many alveoli together they form the alveolar sac okay so the group of alveoli is known as the alveolar sac okay now now let's check about the blood supply so here in the blue color in the blue color branch of pulmonary artery is shown okay which is having a blood <coughs> and this blood is having co2 that's why the blue color that they have used okay now the branch of pulmonary artery so that is pulmonary arteriole so these are the pulmonary arteriole and this pulmonary arteriole uh, they further divided into smaller branch and the smaller branch of the arteriole they are known as the capillaries so entire well alveoli all these alveoli of the alveolar sac they are covered by the network of the capillaries okay and now here inside inside the inside the alveoli alveoli and 
so the wall the, the wall of alveoli and the wall of capillary okay in between them the o2 and co2 exchange is going to take place and now what happens from the alveoli the atmospheric oxygen enters into the blood of into the blood of capillary so that's why the color is gradually changing on right hand side you can see in the capillary blue color uh, we are seeing and uh, slowly slowly it is turning red because the gases are exchanged and o2 enters into the capillary and co2 uh, is removed from the capillary and then the co2 enters into the alveoli space that's why so this this capillaries they join together and they form the pulmonary pulmonary venule and the pulmonary venule joins together and they form the pulmonary vein so this is how this is how the uh, gases are exchanged and all the names you try to remember all the names are important in fact this entire figure is important for you so you prepare this figure <coughs> one minute this way one more figure is there this one this one is also very good so in this figure first see branchial so this one this one is the branchial then branchial is further divided so the branch of branchial <coughs> so this one terminal branchial then the branch of terminal branchial that is respiratory branchial okay <coughs> then one more branch is there from respiratory branchial the branch of alveoli and that branch opens into the alveoli sac okay and the blood supply blue color red color then the capillary network around alveoli okay here this is the this is the alveolar space here the oxygen is present this is the capillary blood in which co2 so this this one this membrane this one is the respiratory membrane and on this membrane the exchange of gases are taking place so here you see this one this one is the blood capillary and this one is the alveoli so in the alveoli you see the oxygen is entering into the capillary blood and from the capillary blood co2 is entering inside the alveoli okay <coughs> so this figure i am showing you then uh, then this figure this figure this is also i will i will deliver a separate lecture on trachea and the bronchi and bronchioles but you start to prepare <coughs> this topic okay try to understand the thing okay and the and the our uh, last point the eighth point of our discussion so seventh point we are completed and this is the this one is the final point of our discussion now the branch of medicine which deals with the diagnosis and treatment of disease and here 
this branch deals with ears nose and throat so any disease any disorders <coughs> of ear nose and throat they are studied under the branch known as otto re no lar ingology so how we are pronouncing this otto rhino laringo logy this one this branch okay so here in <coughs> otto means otto means ear rhino means nose laringo means voice box and logy means study of so study of in short ear nose and throat ent and the branch is otto rhino lar ingo logy okay so with this we have completed this presentation lecture on the components of the respiratory system i hope you have enjoyed this presentation lecture and i also hope that this presentation lecture will be helpful in your exam preparation and also in your studies my name is manish kushti sir i am from amdavad india bye bye namaste